Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 2 of Galactic Science, a mud pack by Caitlin. So I'm cutting things short because day's about to end, so we're going to have to hurry some of these quests. I was trying to see if to complete all of the quests, but unfortunately I was not able to complete C Sips Co. Sieve Expansion, which gives us the pumpkin seed. So we completed Get Turfed and got one of each of these, and we got the 32 sucrose, and let's take the right reward back this time. We also completed I Need My Rock, and that was the long one. We got the gravel, and we're going to get some gold elements, which is going to come in these soon. So, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm such... A, so as it, in the beginning, you need material so bad, I'm going to take the gold. I would prefer taking the uh, the reward bag, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Oh, some rocket fuel. That's always good. And uh, I don't know if you saw when I was recording, I was sieving here and then I went out because I heard a bang. And this meteor, if you look at the last episode in the time lapse, it's red because it actually crashed right there. So you have to be careful what you do with things. So I like to see if it's completed. Backup power. We got the 10 coal, but now we need some charcoal. For charcoal, we need a furnace. So let's get right into it. And I got a lot of cobblestone, so building a furnace won't be a problem. So furnace, let's put it down right here for the time being. Let's make at least 10 charcoal. Uh, 10 charcoal. Let's break this into wood so we have stuff to cook, and let's just cook those. While they're cooking, let's continue on with the next quest because we can't complete that one yet. Breathe some more. We need some oak leaves, which means we need some shears. So here's the thing I wanted to show you. You get iron in this pack by sieving broken iron ore. By getting, sorry, broken iron ore. And you take the broken iron ore and you put it together like this, which right now is going to give me three iron. But you also get these. Okay, not right here. I'm just going to get rid of this and that. You also get these, fallen meteor. And when you transform them, they get you 12 iron ore, which means three more iron. So this is super powerful and important. Can't really cook them right now. So let's complete this getting hot in here, which needs a block of coal. Got 14 coal, so that's enough. Let's make a block of coal. I would have liked to get two, but I'm going to have to make it do with one. So this is completed, and let's pick up the left reward this time. And, oh, a spawn enderman. It doesn't seem to be super good, but it is good. You'll know why. Oh, I got nine more coal. That's perfect. I wanted to get two blocks of... Where's my block of coal? Was it a submit quest? It's a crafting task. Where's... Where's my other block of coal? Of coal. Of coal. Oh, it's right here. Ooh, and I'm running out of oxygen. Th good thing I have a pack right here. And I don't have time to waste. I'm not going to recharge that right now. I have to move on to the next quest because it's starting to get close to night. I don't think we're going to make it in time, unfortunately. So I need to make a fired un uh, unfired crucible. And really, I want to make two. So let me get 14 bone meal. And one bone meal and one clay makes porcelain clay. And porcelain clay is what you use to make crucibles. So we're going to make two unfired crucible. And we're going to cook them and grab the 10 charcoal, which means we've completed backup power. I'm not going to get the coal generator because I find it useless in this pack. I'll use a sterling generator and another reward bag. 10 glowstone torch. Okay, so that's important because on the moon, you cannot use normal torch. If you want to light a place up, you need some glowstone torch. So let me just quickly fix something because it became clear to me that we're not going to get finished on time. So I need to close up the holes I made in the base. Like this, like this, and like that. And let's get down here. And now we have a spawning nightmare. So let's put some glowstone torch down, which is going to make sure that no mobs spawn in here. And what I wanted to do with this is actually put some moon dirt, uh, some dirt down so that we can craft, uh, so we can get as many trees as possible. And right here, I'm going to put one moon, moon dirt so I know where to paste, place the machine because we're going to get into progressive automation. Our two crucibles are cooked. So let's put a block of coal right here and right here and let's put a crucible on each. And with this one, we want to make lava. And with this one, we want to make fuel. How do you make fuel? By slow cooking some wood logs. So this is going to start making fuel. 
which brings us to the next quest. Eating things to the max is done. We get a bucket, an empty canister, and a pick. I'm not going to get the sugar cane. I'm going to take a reward bag because, like I said, reward bags are good. And 10 food. Okay, so not all reward bags are good. Let me get rid of a couple of things that I don't need anymore. Let's get on to the next quest. So the next quest is fueling up. All the fuel was used up on the way here, and the reserves your father have are all spoiled. You remember that on Earth, oil was made by crumb compressing wood in a lot of time. Put logs into a crucible, get oil out with the can canister. So it gave us a canister, and we started putting logs in here, so we should be good with that. Smelting. Pure awesome night. How awesome does that sound? Would be handy if it had some awesome use to go with it. Maybe putting a block of it under my crucible, w crucible would help. I also forgot that I wanted to start cooking five stones. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's get that started. Let's get just a little bit more wood to cook things with it. Uh, I'm going to use a charcoal instead. Oh, like so. And uh, so it's night. I'm going to close the door. I can't take any chance. The next one is getting even hotter. By putting stone in a furnace, you can get lava. Something tells us that having lava will prove useful later on. So we're still waiting for the lava. It's right there. It's slowly melting the cobblestone. So we're going to have to wait some more on that. So if we look back, when we completed I Need My Rock, we unlocked Thirsty for More. Time seems to be much slower here, but still you're going to need to drink water, no matter how slow time is. So it wants us to get water. And the way to get water is very simple. You need ice, like this. You put the ice down, and I'm going to start breaking this down. Oh, you put ice down, and you break the ice. Like this is a standard Minecraft mechanic. So ice, break it, et voila, you got water. But we actually need to pick up that one, so let's pick it up and go like this. Now we have titanium or a reward bag. Sorry for the uh, alarm. So the reward bag, again, we're going to get titanium later on. So let's get the reward bag because we might be surprised and get something really good. 128 marbles. Okay, so I'm going to lose my marbles on that one because that's not so good. Let's get rid of all of this. And I'm just dumping things in the chest because it's going to be night. We're going to have time to set things, make things nicer. I also like putting a light on each side right here because then it's easier to see outside if there are mobs. I'm going to take a little risk. Maybe. Let me just check something quickly. Do I still have... Yeah, I still have some bone meal. If I come here... And I cook, okay, so I can get this tree quickly. And can I get two iron? Because if I can get two iron, you know what I'm going to get? I'm going to get a pair of shears. Just so that I can get more air. So shears, and now that I have shears, I can go in here. And just grab all of these leaves as fast as possible. Because I have to be careful about mobs. They haven't started appearing yet, but for sure they're going to start appearing soon. And please give me 64. Please give me 64. So that's another quest done. And 50. And I think I'm going to get the 64 that I want. Just have to look around to make sure that there's no mob. Because a creeper right now would be super bad. I want anything but a creeper. Go, 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 go. And already you can see some mob in the distance. And am I... Yeah, I'm probably pushing my luck right now. Let's just cut down this tree. My toes are curled up. I'm so worried I'm going to get killed. Especially that there's no sound on the moon. I'm trying to look around without stopping this block. And I seem to be getting lucky. Yes! Okay, so that's one one's broken down. And I'm looking around and there's no mob close by. So I'm not going to use this axe because it's going to take longer. I'm going to break that one. And again, I'm looking around. In the first day or two, the mobs are not as aggressive as they're going to get later on. Okay, so that's pushing my luck to, luck to the maximum. Let's get out of here. So now I should have 64, which means another... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Which means another quest completed. <coughs> Read some more. And we get 
five melon. So let me show some stuff in here again. And we're going to go take care of these. I'm going to keep the sugar cane. I'm going to put this here. I need to cook those two sands. So let's put that in here like so. And we're going to use the sugar cane on the sand right here once we put back down the water. Like so. And what about my lava? I still don't have my lava. And all of my wood is cooked. But you need a lot more wood for one full, uh, wood, one full bucket. I think you need... Uh, for a 12, 16 wood, if I remember correctly. So let's look on at the next quest. And now I'm just waiting for lava, waiting for fueling up, waiting for smelting. So let's go. This was completed, but I don't want to go in that right now. Let's go into why do all the work. Because we can start making the automatic timber wooden chopper. Uh, the only reason we can start making it is that we actually do have enough. Uh, oh, just eight cobblestone. I thought I had more cobblestone. Oh, another 16 here. So yeah, we do have enough cobblestone. I was expecting to wait for my cobblestone generator, but we don't have to. So the way it works is, let, let's look at the chopper again. Chopper, chopper, wow. The chopper is one uh, furnace with one wooden ax with one chest and six wood log. So I have the furnace. I need a wooden ax right now. So let me make three of these because I'm going to need my chest. That's the chest. And that's going to be, I still need some more wood. That's going to be my wooden axe, like so. And once I have this and the wooden axe and the furnace and the oak wood, I get a chopper, which completes this uh, quest. I had read it already, so let's read it again. Harvesting trees starts to get boring after a while. Why not have a machine that does that for you? Provide with a wooden axe and it shall chop them trees and collect the wood. Also, need fuels. So we're going to talk about the fuel. The next quest I want to read is the all the upgrades. Now, if you want any of these machines to be of any use, you're going to need to add upgrades. You can only use wood upgrade for wood machines, stone for stone, machine, etc. So for the wood upgrade, I need one redstone and eight log. Oh, wow. I just have the... Ooh. Let's... So this is the scary bit. They will try to break down your door. So you need to break, block it off like this for the night. Don't take a chance. Always put a block in the beginning because in the beginning, we're not able to survive a mob attack. So now let's use all of these log around like this and one redstone and we get one wooden upgrade. What the wooden upgrade actually does is that it, it uh, how can I say this? It completely, makes the range higher on the machine. So right now, if I was to put down the machine, it would say range of one. And range of one is always just in front. Whereas a range of uh, adding one upgrade makes it a range of three. It's plus two per, if I remember correctly. So now let's check on the lava. And the lava, we have 1,000, one millibucket, one bucket. So let's grab the lava and complete, let's claim that reward, I forgot, which gives us 11, which is going to give us a lot of range. So now if we go back here, getting even hotter is completed. <clears throat> you have a choice of cactus seed, grass seed, or ender lily seed. You need to pick the ender lily seed. This is super important. You're going to need ender pearl, and this is going to be your only way to get ender pearl in the short term. So grab the ender lily seed. Don't muck that one up. It is super important. And now we've opened up, transfer it right here, which wants us to craft a transfer node just like in the automation. And that's why I waited to get this open because I wanted to make sure that we get the reward and the reward's amazing. It's a chemical decomposer that we need for Mindcam and a world interaction upgrade. And the world interaction upgrade is the thing that lets you produce cobblestone. So this is a cobblestone generator. You wonder if there is a way to make cobblestone on the moon. Should not take long to set up and figure out, great, now you have cobble, but keep in mind, you can't hammer it down. You can only hammer the ore block down for more yield. So there's no hammering cobblestone into um, gravel in this mod pack. That's ha not how things work. So let's craft this because we have everything that we need. I'm going to need all of this redstone. Actually, I'm going to need 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 redstone, and I'm going to need some stone. I have my stone already. So first, let's make the pipe. For the pipe, we need three stones to make six stone slab, like so. 
and then we need one glass each side, and we need one redstone right here, which gives us the pipe. We're going to transform the other redstone into a redstone block and put them like I need. Oh, derp. I need more wood. I need a chest. Well, that is kind of sad. I was really hoping to be able to complete this today. Okay, let me take a look outside. I don't see any mob. Let me put this down. Put these in. Oh, God. Nope. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Mobs. Let's get back in. Let's get back in. Oh, so that's all I needed to do. I actually... Oh, I actually have resolved my problem. Because here's what we're going to do. Now that it's down, you're not going to be able to see the interface. But we can do, go down here. Because we actually did close this off last time. And I can jump here. And I can break this piece down. And we have the wooden chopper here. So I'm going to augment the range. Oh, did I not get my 10 upgrades? Let me go back. Now I'm kind of worried. I should have gotten 10 more. Where are my 10 more wood upgrade? What's the... Oh, 23. They're already in there. Phew. Okay. So basically, you need to power this up. Let me go back up. I need some sapling. And I'm going to show you how this works. So grab some sapling. And let's grab this wood. We're going to use all of our wood. There's no, we don't, we don't really have a choice. We need some fuel. So I'm going to fuel this up with sticks. The reason you want to do that is basically you don't want to waste fuel. And once you're chopping a tree, if you're not waiting for a tree and there's nothing to chop, the rest of the fuel burns. So let's see. I put the oak sapling up here. And then I put the wooden axe right here. This one's almost dead and I have nothing to make another one. So I painted myself in a corner again and I use a stick and now it's going to burn stick because it's going to put down the sapling and now it's waiting to actually cut a tree. There's no tree ready so it's not going to harvest anything until we get a tree. So I'm going to try again to take a risk I should probably not be taking but I don't want this series to get jammed. So I'm going to take a quick look around again. Oh no no no. Okay, so, end of story. We're not going outside. Mm, I don't know what to do now because I don't want to take the creeper risk. The creeper risk is the one risk we cannot take. Because if a creeper blows up and opens our base, it's basically game over. And I'm risking it anyway because this is a YouTube video. And if I don't progress, then I'm not doing much of anything. Oh, and I broke my torch. That's not what I wanted. Is it? Is he really going to let me kill him that easy? Why am I getting blocked? Oh my god, I'm taking so much risk. Oh well, I'm not doing a mini series for nothing. This might be a two episode series. Or it might be awesome. Yeah, I got him. Perfect. So, why did I do that? For only one reason. This. And a tree. And, oh, oh boy, oh boy, mistakes were made. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to attract the creeper over here. And then we're going to run right back to base. And we're going to come down, and you see the tree being chopped, but, oh my god, yes, I did it. I'm awesome. I am amazing. Perfect. So now that I've got the trees being chopped down, I'm going to get some wood back, which is going to permit me to continue this. So let me come right here. Really? Two wood? Oh, because the axe is dead. Which is not a problem because now that we have two wood, we can actually create another axe. Oh, by the way, in the last episode, I created a portable crafting stick. It's not as amazing because, look, see, you can't shift click things into it. But on the go, like right now, I don't have to go back up. I can just go like this and like that and make another wooden axe that I'm going to jump and put in here. And I'm going to put the wooden axe right here. And I'm going to put these sticks there. And it's going to cut the rest of the tree. I said it's going to cut the rest of the tree. Um, now it's cutting the leaves. Another block. Two block. Perfect. So now I'm good. The reason I say I'm good is that I can finally make my chest. So let's go back upstairs and let's continue with the transfer note. Because if I get cobblestone, at least I get to progress a little bit more. So I needed one chest. Now that I have one chest, 
one block of redstone and two redstone. I'm going to put, oh, sorry, it's like this, and it's the transfer pipe right here, and you get a transfer node. And now if I go into the quest completion, it completes this where you want when you want, which gives us a stack upgrade that we're going not going to need for now. And it completes this quest, which is much more important, which gives us the world interaction, chemical decomposer, and a choice of two. So this is a very tough choice to make, okay? Because you can either take another world interaction or a speed upgrade. So let's look at both of them and I'll explain to you why I'm making my choice. It's super important and I think it's the right choice. Speed upgrade, <coughs> it's really expensive. It's 36 redstone, two and one third gold. We already kind of have some gold and we can get some more gold with gravel, but the redstone is a lot of sieving. It does give you four speed upgrade though. And having one speed upgrade would make the production of cobblestone much faster. But if we look at the world interaction, world interaction, it's actually four lapis, four iron, plus another three iron here. And if you look at the quantity of stone that I, of rock that I sieved, I only get two lapis. And the iron, after we cooked it, we had six. So we only have four. We don't even have enough. So for sure, we're not going to have enough iron. And iron in the beginning is such a big problem that I need to take a second world upgrade, world interaction upgrade. And if you guys are saying, well, you already have one to make cobblestone, why would you need another one? We need another one to be able to get water. Because if you put a liquid transfer node on top of a water source block that's being created by two side by side, then you get infinite water and it's going to pick it up and it's going to be very useful. Water is life in more than one way in this mod pack. So let's not screw up, screw up. Let's take the world interaction upgrade and believe me guys, it is the best option of the two. So we're going to go down here inside of our base and I'm going to set this right here to begin with. It might not be the best position in the end, but to begin with, we might move things around and I just want to start quickly. So I need one cobblestone right here. And then I need one lava block on one side and one water block on the other side. So let's put the ice down and break it. And you need to put the transfer node on the cobblestone because it's what tells it to create cobblestone. It's the combination of all of those factors. But if you see, it's not producing any. But if I put a world interaction upgrade, it starts producing. And if I put two in, it produced two at a time. The stack is only to move things one stack at a time. So for now, we don't have a chest or anything, so I cannot put a chest on top to start getting the cobble. So I'm, I'm going to stop at 64, but I can always grab it. And now that I have cobblestone, I can say that things are really started because with the cobblestone, we can make many things, furnace and such. So this is started very well. And now if we look back at the quest, we have smelting to do and we have fueling up. Let's go upstairs and we're not going to be able to do much with the smelting up because we don't have gold right now. Well, we have the element for gold, but that's it. As for this, now that we have cobblestone, I can always keep, keep this with, cobbles, uh, with uh, cobblestone in to make lava. And this one, unfortunately, I don't have really enough wood to fill it for now. So we're going to forget that for now. The other thing I want to do is I want to cook a couple of stone because I want to be able to make a stone barrel, which is going to be super important later on. I'm going to talk about it a bit later. Now, let me just take a quick look outside again. Oh, that stupid spider, but spider are not scary in this pack because they, they can't get through the door. They can't break the door down. And once they're flying, you can just hit them before they fall back. So see, I can control them very easily. And usually I would put some windows on each side so that I can have advanced warning of creepers. But I'm trying to do the same thing that I did before where I just want to use my, uh, my what's it called, my bone meal to produce another tree because I need some more wood. So let me make sure that I'm getting all of the spiders and, oh, oh boy, I just saw my air. So I have to be careful not to be completely dumb. I'm taking a lot of risk, but this is really not the first time I played this mod pack and I'm... I'm comfortable that in the first night, the mobs are more passive. So 
it's less of a risk. And we got lucky not having a skeleton close because having a skeleton close is almost more dangerous because they get to hit you from range. So let's grow. Come on, and one tree. And we're going to get some wood, so let's not take another risk for now. So now, let's take a breather, relax one second, and let's go on the other quest. Oh, by the way, storage solution. We completed this because we crafted five chests by now, which is going to give us a sorting upgrade and two copper chests. And the two copper chests are kind of useful because they hold a lot of stuff. So I'm going to be able to start throwing some stuff in here that I don't need. Um, before we go too much further in this, let's go and take care of the oak leaves. The reason we wanted the oak leaves is to fill this because right now, look, it's gathering 24 oxygens per second. But if I put one back here and there and this, and I'm going to do, I'm just going to break this one, one here, one here, and I'm going to put back one here, one here and here. And oh, oh boy. Okay, I'm going to break this one also. Like this, like that, right, right here, right here, right back there, and this. Let me just finish filling that, and I'll show you how much oxygen we're producing right now. So now we're making 60. And I can also feel, fill these in, like so, and these two back there. I don't want to block the top here, because that's where it's getting the oxygen from. I'm just going to... Also do this, and now my 60 has come to 86, and I know that I can fill the, the not this, the top row like this, and the second row, which is really not beautiful, but we need more oxygen in the beginning. See 108, and now the beauty of having 108 is that these look, they are going to fill much faster now because before we weren't producing 40 per second, and now at least we're producing oxygen as fast as we're using it to fill this. And we can always put these oak leaves away for something else later. So that's why the quest wanted us to get those oak leaves. It's important to begin with. Let me just take a quick look out. Oh, I'm out of bone meal. No, I probably threw it in the chest. So let me get some bone meal. Let me open the door. Take a quick look. Oh. So what happened right there is that we run out of uh, power. In the beginning, it's a hard balancing act because it's always a question of I need my wood to craft stuff, but I need to power this machine. So let me put these sticks in there and let's go back upstairs. We should be able to see the tree being chopped. And hopefully it's going to plant another one and I'm going to be able to grow another tree. Oh, creeper, nothing there, nothing there. Let me just... Perfect. That's good. Let's get out, and I don't think I will need to go out again. I'm not going to take that risk anymore. Oh, okay. So let's go downstairs, check for our wood. And this is really like, that's my power start. I think that if I was to restart the whole series again, I might be able to save less because if I hadn't done my time lapse, I had the material to make the... Uh, the what's it called the cobblestone generator much earlier and we could have progressed faster and made more trees but i took a wrong direction in how i wanted to end all thing and i'm kind of paying for it right now but i took some risk and it paid off oh no don't take these so i'm going to put this instead which is really bad because it's going to burn for long but i don't want you to take the wood like this I want you to work on stick because stick is not expensive and you're not, there's no waste. Because if there's no tree to cut, it can start burning uh, a whole log and have nothing to do with it for a while. So let's look at the quest again. This only completed because we made the five chests and we don't need to rush progressing in this right now. And for the barrel, well, a barrel cost first a chest and then seven logs so we're not we don't have enough wood to start doing this right now so we're kind of stuck here where i wanted to make this into a stone uh, chopper it would have been much better but if we look at the chopper the wood chopper would have well the axe would have lasted longer and also works a bit faster so the wood chopper needs seven stone one wooden chopper and one stone axe and the only thing you can put in a stone chopper is a stone axe. 
So now that that's why we needed all of that cobblestone. So if I take this, now I can actually get ready and prepared. Oh, I don't have wood. So everything's kind of stuck on wood and the idea of wood. So instead, let's get started into Minecam. And that's really exciting. I love Minecam, and I think you're going to love it too. So sweet child of mine, we needed to get some sucrose. There's two ways of getting sucrose, okay? So let me, oh, I still don't have one sugar cane, but do I have... Yeah, I got some sugarcane seeds. I'm just going to put that down also. And basically, if you look at sugarcane, sugar, uh, sugar cane, you can break down sugarcane into sugar or three for a paper, or if we go lay f further, we can decompose it into 65% chance of getting a sucrose, two hydrogen and one oxygen, but it's a 65% chance. Let me grab this and put it down right here. We actually want to maximize the production of sucrose in the beginning, but we already got 32 from a quest, which means that we have the lock to not wait. And the reason that was changed, it wasn't like that the first time I played, it was changed because it was delaying your start too much. Now we're already in the first night that's going to last at least four days, I think. So, we need to be progressing. So we have that, it's going to give us 10 energy conduit, which is super important because we don't have an alloy smelter yet. Oh, and 32 wood and some cobblestone. I never noticed that because usually when I get to this point, my start is well established. But it means that I... <laughs> Derp number two of the episode. So let's cr claim the left reward bag and now we're really unstuck and we're going to be able to progress as fast as I wanted to begin with. So now that I have a lot of oak wood, I don't mind filling this with oak wood and continuing to get our uh, fuel. Also keep that always full with lava because lava is very useful. So we're into mine camp. We got the sucrose, we didn't have to make it the hard way. But it didn't really explain yet. So I think that this was supposed to be completed with the sucrose we got. The next is <coughs> molecules and stuff. We should try some more basic chemistry. And this is going to give us a chemical synthesizer. We need 10 cellulose, 10 oxygen, 10 hydrogen, and 10 silicon. So actually it's not explaining it. I'm kind of surprised. Let's start some chemistry full. Oh yeah, hook your decomposer up to some power. So let's go downstairs. And this is the only power we have right now. So for the time being, let's hook our decomposer right there. And now let's decompose stuff. So I'm going to decompose one oak wood, which gives us cellulose. And I know that because I've played this pack before. And if you didn't know how to get cellulose, you always can just do this. Cellulose and right click. Oh, no, sorry. Left click and see one wood plank gives you 40 chance of getting 40% chance of getting two. So that's not super good. If we pass all of the plank and also all of the slab, see, see slab would be better because three gives you six, which means you have two time more chances of getting cellulars from plank than you do from the, uh, from slabs and from the wood plank. Uh, the oak sapling has 25% chance of doing one, so you never want to do that, honestly. And then the wood has 50% chance of getting eight, so that's much better because the plank gives you four. Four times two is eight, and there's only a 40% chance, so you really want to decompose log of any type. You can also decompose oak leaf, but we don't have a lot of oak leaves right now, and we don't have shears. So let's try another one, and that's the 50% we didn't get, and another one. <laughs> so f three that we didn't get out of five, not a super great start, but this is 16 cellulose. Now that we got the cellulose, it wants us to get oxygen and hydrogen and silicon. So if you look at this, cellulose is composed of carbon, six carbon, hydrogen, 10 hydrogen and oxygen, five. These, when you break them down, it's no chance. It's absolutely, you get what you're supposed to get. So by doing two, I get my hydrogen and my oxygen. Oh, they're not detected because I didn't grab them. So I'm going to grab all of these and get them detected. Now I need silicon. So how do you get silicon? Let's 
search into JEI. So silicon. Uh, silicon. So we get silicon from decomposing silicon liquid, some silicon plate, and let's just go quickly through it. Oh, you have a chance of getting silicon from stone. So a 20% chance of getting one silicon and one oxygen. Or from grass block or from cobblestone, that's 10% chance, so very low. From silicon oxide, we don't have that. From compressed cobblestone, we have 12% chance. So already compressed cobblestone would be a better bet. We get it from silicon dioxide though. And just moving on and down, you, you see more and more options. I've done a lot of research the first time I played around and the better option is with the silicon dioxide. How do you get silicon dioxide? You absolutely always get 16 from one sand or you have one 35% chance from gravel. So we need some silicon and this is 16. It's a sure thing. So we're going to go upstairs. We're going to grab one sand and we're going to use that as an option because it's the easiest and most sure way of getting it. So let me get one sand and let's go downstairs and decompose that sand. So right here, let's decompose the sand and we get 16 silicon dioxide, but we want silicon. So let's decompose that further. And now we get our 16 silicon and 32 oxygen. And we have everything that we want. So now we get a chemical synthesizer. I'm going to break this block because I want to put the chemical synthesizer there so that it recharges. Chemical synthesizer, it doesn't, so sorry, chemical decomposer, decompose elements. Chemical synthesizer synthesizes molecule and material. So that's why, oh, I put, I, I didn't get it detected first. I forgot to do that. So let's get it detected. And now it gives me 127 gold, 64 silver, and 64 uh, PB is lead. So which one do I want? I want the silver because it's rare. It's more rare. Let's put this down and now I can show you. I don't have to go and whale up because I know them by heart. I'm going to put the silver and the gold here. The way it works, you grab 16 and you can, without moving, left click and put 16. Or if you go right click, it's one at a time and you go up. If you left click, it disappears. But 16 gold, 16 AU with 3000 RF makes one gold ingot. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and three. So sorry, F uh, that's AG, sorry. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and we're missing one AU, which is kind of frustrating. So we're gonna make all five gold, and already we are at 15 AU. The next time we get a AU somewhere, we're going to be able to get it like this. Same thing with silver, put 16 here, and you get four silver ingot. So that's how you make L you make ingots. Um, then the next, so this is completed. The next step is right here. I don't want to mine anymore. At some point, you need to step up your automation game. Who says you need to spend hour digging the moon? Moon turf. You know we need moon turf to get some redstone. So let's do some research about moon turf. Moon turf. And moon turf can be crafted. Can be crafted with three oxygen and one silicon. Which is why we needed the silicon to begin with. I just want to craft one because I don't care so much for moon turf right now. I have better things to do with my silicon. So three oxygen and one silicon makes one moon turf and completes that quest. And now we can choose 64 sucrose or 64 iron. Sucrose, it's not that super useful to begin with compared to iron. So I'm going to get the six. Oh, I only have one spot on me. So let me get rid of some stuff upside upstairs. So that I have place and I'm going to get rid of the stack for now. I'm going to get rid of the silver. I'm going to get rid of the moon turf and these Tyrian blocks. And now let's get that. And we're going to get the, oh, sorry. We're going to get the iron. This is act really, I think the best beginning. Let's just go and break down that one piece of um, sugar cane and start another one. You always want to make sure to produce as much as that as possible. So let's continue with the next quest. We did that and now it's telling you about how to automate it or how to automate cobblestone. Improving it further. Compressed cobble wields a lot of element in the decomposer. 
but manually crafting all that cobble is tedious. You should automate it. So this is giving us one good piece, uh, one good like tip. Let's look at cobblestone. Okay, so if I delete this and I go cobblestone, and I right, I left click on cobblestone and I go look at the decomposer. The decomposer tells me. Uh, no, sorry, right click. The decomposer tells me that I get 10% chance of getting one oxygen and a titanium or a lead or a sodium or a silicon or an iron or a magnesium or a titanium. Well, now I've gone round, round robin. So 10% chance, not that high, and only one when you need 16 to make an iron. This is not great. But out of cobblestone, you can make compressed cobblestone, and it's telling us that we can make more. So let's go look at the compressed cobblestone now. And if I take the compressed cobblestone and I look at the chemical decomposer, I get 2% extra chance, but that's nine cobblestone. So 12% extra chance for only one, still not good. So why did it tell us to compress? There must be something more. So let's go to double compressed cobblestone. And let's look at double compressed cobblestone. So that's actually 81 cobblestone. So now we're talking about a lot of cobblestone. But, I'm um, sorry, but if we come to the chemical decomposer, we still have 12% chance. But if it works, we get 90 of them per go. So that's not good. That's amazing because that's, if you get 90 um, iron, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. No, it's six, six iron. So this is one way that we're going to be making stuff, which means we need an automated crafter. So let's look into crafter. And it's this one right here, crafter tier one. And a crafter tier one is two crafting table, two redstone torch and a machine frame. And the machine frame is four iron, two gold and two lapis. <coughs> we already have all that we need for that, I think so. So let me double click this so that it stops highlighting. And yes, we do have the gold, we do have the iron, and we do have the two lapis. So we're able to make the crafter. So let's come downstairs right here. I just want to throw the uh, iron in here, break this down, split it in two, and say 16 iron to get four more iron. And we're going to craft our first crafter. So our first crafter is made out of a machine frame, which means I need to break down one gold into golden nugget. Let's make one machine frame, like so. Let's make some stick. And let's grab, oh, let's grab some redstone. So two redstone, that's all I have left, which means I don't have to craft any moon dirt for now. Uh, moon turf. This, and then we need one, two, to get two crafting table, like so. Uh, let me throw what on the ground? Let me throw this on the ground for now. So I can shift click this in and make the crafter tier one. So that's another quest completed. And now from this quest, compress couple wields a lot of element. We can get energy conduit or transfer node. We can make transfer node. We cannot make energy conduit right now. So let's grab that. And now let's go downstairs because I'm going to get that crafter and I'm going to put it on this side right here. And we're going to put a pipe and now it's going to start putting cobblestone in the crafter. Now, the crafter also needs power. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, and it gave me a crafter tier two. I also forgot that we got a crafter tier two. So I'm going to start accruing the cobblestone here, but obviously I can't power this right now. So we'll get back to this in another episode. We're getting close to the mark. I'm not going to make a time lapse in this episode because I have nothing really to gather. Uh, the only last thing I wanted to talk about is that when I introduced all of these quest line, I stopped at more power and there are three more. So the, the seventh one is star line. Lindsay Sterling would be proud. Don't know who that is. Should probably Google her. And this is about star power, art of the star. All stars have heart. If you just, it's just how you treat that heart is how much of a star you get. These hearts like to burn. More fire, the bigger the heart. Figure that one out. So that one I figured out because of some research and finally a YouTube video. 
but it's explaining to you how to make a heart of a star. We're nowhere close to that, so this is more le late game. The next one is Stargate SG Minecraft. Stargate is a movie first and then a mini three mini series, and it's about building a Stargate, which is a round ring, and it's made out of Naquita. So this wants us to grab some Naquita, starting at the basics. Well, I guess when you adventure into a new mod, you need the basics. Oops, and I'm out of oxygen again because I'm not being careful. I'm just too excited about this mod pack. It's crazy. I'm taking risks that I should never be taking, and I'm just running through the pack because I want to get it started, and I just love it so much. Since I took a small break, let me make some more stick, and let's go look in here and put the sticks. And I got some more wood. So basically now it's waiting because no trees are growing because we're night. So let's look back at the quest. And this is to gather Nakwada. And Nakwada, if we take a quick look at it. So na, Nakwada, Nakwada, right here. It's made out of block of coal and Venus crystal. And Venus crystal you get from smelting Venus crystal ore. Or I think. Is there another way from synthesizing it? But this is very hard. Like synthesizing, not going to happen soon. So we're going to need to go to Venus to get crystal ore. And Venus, you can only get to by crafting a, sorry, by crafting a tier 3 rocket. So not going to be easy to begin with. But that gets me to explain to you the tier system. Now we're on the moon. And I keep talking to you about the alloy smelter. So let's look at the alloy smelter. Alloy smelter is seven iron for a cauldron, four more iron, three furnace, and a machine chassis. Pretty standard recipe. Machine chassis is four iron bar and a basic capacitor. Basic capacitor is a copper ingot, two redstone, and four gold nugget. We have all of that. We could technically do this, but I skipped this. Dash ingot. What are dash ingot? Dash ingot are made from unrefined dash or from cooking dash ore. An unrefined dash you get by breaking dash ore, if I remember correctly. So, where do you get that dash from? From Mars. Okay? So, we need to get to Mars. And the only way to get to Mars is with a tier 2 rocket. So, that's the tier system. We cannot get into the good Ender IO stuff until we get to Mars. So, now we have a very limited way of creating stuff and what material we can make, which is why I took the energy conduit. Whenever you can get energy conduit of any type or conduit or anything that needs an alloy, you should prioritize that before anything else. Finally, we have Silly Willy Space Junk. And Silly Willy Space Junk is a ridiculous quest line just to exchange stuff. <clears throat> so the first one is saying, you can do this anytime to get five quest book. You do that if you lose your quest book. Then you have copper to aluminum. Silly Willy offers three copper for three aluminum. So basically, if you have too much copper and you need aluminum to make some, uh, some uh, what's it called, piston, because piston can be made with an aluminum, and you should always use aluminum because your iron's too useful. Then you have the reverse. Aluminum to copper. Silly Willy offers three aluminum for three copper. You need a lot of copper in the building of cables, I think, and of the... Uh, the rockets, so you might have too much aluminum, vice versa. Then you have the silkworm for saplings. So for 30 saplings, Silly Willy offers you a silkworm. But you saw how easy it was to get a silkworm, so there's no reason of ever spending 30 sapling. Then there's emerald for diamonds. Diamond Silly Willy is still in need. Give him your diamond and receive emeralds. Uh, I don't remember ever using that because you get emerald fairly easy once you start sieving different stuff. So I don't know why you would need to do that. And then you have this very ridiculous one. Gravel for obsidian. Silly Willy offer gravels for obsidian. So basically 10 obsidian gives you one gravel. And you know how to make obsidian. If you don't, it's basically one bucket of lava in a stone uh, barrel and water over. So making 10 of these will give you one gravel. But it's the most ridiculous exchange rate ever. And I'll show that to you in the next episode. Then finally, we have the only three things that are of value here. The schematics for diamond block. Silly Willy went dungeon hunting. He now has pairs of schematic, but not enough diamond. So when you give it a block of diamond, it's going to give you four schematic 
to make the rocket, the bench, and the moon buggy. This is necessary. You cannot start going into space without these. Usually it's something that you find in dungeon on Earth, but we're already on the moon, so there's no way to find them. That's why you get them there. Then the energy conduit for ender plus iron. Since we don't have alloy smelter in the beginning, we might need more energy conduit to make a better setup. So we can always exchange two ender pearl and 32 iron to get eight energy conduit. I remember using maybe this once or twice in my whole time playing this mod pack. In the beginning when I wanted to make big builds, but it's much easier to go to Mars and start making your own alloys. And finally, the zombie converter. These evolved zombies don't have the right DNA for some experiments, but with 32 rotten flesh, Sir Willy can create the soul vial you need. So with one soul vial and 32 rotten flesh, we can get a soul vial with a zombie in it. And the reason for that, there's only one, it's to make the Killer Joe. The Killer Joe is a mob killing machine that needs a Franken zombie. And to make a Franken zombie, you need a Z Logic controller with the soul vial of a zombie. And even though you see entity.specialmobs zombie, special zombie, I don't think that works and you actually need a real zombie. And so that's how you get it from Sir Willy. So guys, I covered everything. I wish I had been able to get that setup made better and get more trees to begin with. But we're having a great start. Maybe I took too many risks, but I think it made the uh, episode more exciting. And it accelerated stuff and we were able to get a lot done. So in the next episode, we're going to start doing things a bit more slowly and a bit more organized. And we're going to start setting up our automation because we need power. We already have a Sterling generator, which have to set it up. And I'm going to explain to you how we make power, how we generate power in this pack. It's probably one of the most important thing to know how to generate. So I'm going to end this episode on our biggest accomplishment so far. And that's how I want to end all episode, facing the biggest accomplishment made today. And it's our cobblestone generator with our crafter making compressed cobblestone that I will explain in the next episode once we have power. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!